This is the drink that you want for summer. It's about 40 calories. Hi, Sam's gonna move you in just one second. Very sorry by the way, what can I get started for you today? Almond milk, ice latte, sugar-free camera syrup please. Perfect, thank you very much. Oh. Make me wait again. Right, so we've got the white girl almond milk ice latte with sugar free caramel syrup. It is about 40 calories. We are driving five hours from the north down to the south. <laughs> Brand new. As I've already gathered, all this video is shot before my surgery. I've actually had the surgery. As you can see, I haven't died. I've survived. So for the last month, I've literally been bed bound. I'll make a whole video on it. I filmed everything. So that will be coming soon. I just filmed this whole next segment of the video in portrait because I've been making so many Instagram reels. I'm not re-recording it. So the first half of this next bit is in portrait. I've got to say this within the first two minutes of the video. It's like part of a contract. In Legend London, I'm paying the bills at the minute. Obviously, I'm recovering from surgery. Last month, I've done absolutely nothing. I think Legend London make jeans and clothes. They make the only jeans that I wear day to day. You can definitely buy cheaper jeans out there, but if you buy cheap, you buy twice. I've literally owned these for three years. Before I worked for this brand, I was like a fanboy of the brand, which is super sweet, obviously, because now they're paying me to do an integration of their video, which is sick. They've got this three-way stretch technology, so it's not some like super stiff, uncomfortable rubbing denim. They're like, it's like wearing a pair of leggings without looking like you're wearing a pair of leggings unless you get the super, super skinny ones. These are a few of my favorites for summer. We got the Slim Fit 32Rs. I'm 5'11", about 92 kilograms at the moment. Yes, I got kind of fat. Right, I shouldn't really squat because I've had surgery. But, look. Next up, I wear these pretty much 80% of the time because it's so simple. Go with anything, really nice fit. And those are the Black Legend London Slim Fit. No, they're not, they're straight leg fit. Black Legend London straight leg fit jeans. They've just released these. And as you can see, like the fit is absolutely banging. It's like a little bit baggier. It's a little bit looser. I'm not into the super, super skinny stuff, but it's tapered well to your legs without being like super, super boxy. So last but not least, baggier fit, zipped pockets, lightweight, stretchy, and durable material. These are my favorite cargo for day-to-day -day use hence they're the that these are my right these are my fucking hell man these are my favorite favorite cargoes right these are fucking hell i've forgotten how to fucking i've forgotten how to speak these are my go-to skydiving travels as well and as you can see like a minute ago i slid it on my ass and they are completely fine ah! if you can hear a chirping in the background let me show you something really quick Long story short, because I've been hospitalized for slash bed bound for the last month, I wanted some children to keep me company whilst I was recovering. So I brought all these eggs and none of them hatched. They were meant to hatch five days ago. They didn't hatch. So I assumed that they had all died in transit. I got them delivered here or they just didn't make the incubation. I checked the eggs. Nothing was moving or they're empty. So I figured everything was dead. They're five days past when they're meant to hatch. So I started throwing everything away this morning. Basically, I was running late to go out. So I couldn't finish turning everything off and throwing everything away. So I was like, sod it. I'll just leave it on for like one more day just for the hell of it whilst I'm out today. Went out, got a notification on my phone because I put a camera in there and one of them, the miracle little quail, has hatched. Um, so small. Right. <laughs> it's so small. Yeah? Yeah, do that as well. Stop, don't, don't cut them. There you go, it's got a little shoe. That's stressful, hold on. Reparents. We just finished skydiving literally all day. We've done like seven hours of driving, jumped out of many planes, and I'm absolutely exhausted. It's currently half past eight. The last thing I want to do right now 
is train legs. We're gonna get it even though we don't want to. In order to achieve great things, if you just don't do it because you don't feel like doing it, you're not gonna get anywhere. My fuck. Look who it is. Yeah, basically me and Tom been buying new cameras, new laptops on that GoFundMe setup. So like, <laughs> literally, yeah, I, don't, I don't even need a surgery. <laughs> we just been like buying all new fucking kit. Tom's getting, uh, tomorrow's picking up a new BMW. Yeah, uh, it's only an M140i, but. Yeah, you know. Tom's picking up the M140i. We split the commission 50-50, so <laughs> 7K each on that GoFundMe. Yeah, 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 I got a new camera, Tom's getting a new car. Fucking sick, eh? You, you know, you gotta, you, gotta be, you gotta be smart <laughs> these days. You know, you don't, people don't get rich by being nice. Ooh. The normal primes taste like. Imagine a slush puppy, what a slush puppy's made out of. Mm. Imagine if you just drunk the syrup before it's been watered down. Just like the cheapest blue flavouring you can buy. Yeah, it was it was alright, but it literally just tasted like you're drinking unwatered down squash or something. Mm. That's actually pretty good. Is it? Mm. Right, people, we're with Mr. Tom Stockton and we're gonna train some chess today in Body Wild in Plymouth. Hey guys, um, so I'm gonna be taking you through a voiceover for this workout. Do a fucking podcast as well. <laughs> I'm gonna absolutely mob Tom and Chess today. Oh, mate! I got to live on that. Oh, yeah. Fuck you, man. They shake it. Oh, oh, <laughs> it doesn't, it's not really functional muscle, you know? And that's just like the downside. The thing. This, the this thing. is the downside of like right. starting steroids Tom, so early on into your lifting career. It's like you just max out, like half out really Tom, early. Tom benches like incline 30 kilograms. And then he's bragging because he's like doing a pec fly with more weight than me. That's like bragging how many times you can have a wank in a day. Mate, if I can have loads of wanks in a day, it means I've got a healthy testosterone level. <laughs> <laughs> is this the Dylan McKellar angle? Yeah. I don't give a fuck if you send me to Dylan. Go on. Dylan knows this is the Dylan McKellar angle. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, that was the fucking other day. You don't trust these chains. Look, it feels like Mate, little... you look ridiculously big here. I am ridiculously big. I feel like I'm a reverse, like. People on the social media always look smaller in real life. I just look bigger in real life. <laughs> Fucking wham. Mate. I'm the opposite, mate. I look small on social media. And it's smaller in real and life. And even smaller in real life. <laughs> yeah. No matter how many monsters I drink, every time they just get better and better. <sighs> it is a beautiful day. This is our third caffeinated beverage of the day. We're going to train back with Mr. Tom Stockton, and he is deadlifting. I haven't done deadlifts in about, I reckon, about five years. I'd like to apologise to everyone because I thought we were doing conventional deadlifts. CrossFit Tom is forcing me to do um, stiff leg deadlifts. <laughs> 200 after no deadlifts in four years, RIP. You're gonna beat me! Bear in mind, it's the first one I've ever done stiff legs, off like this. Switch on, let's go! Ooh. Yes! Oh, easy! Nice. Yes, there we go, come on! Fucking easy, lad! Up, again! Breath! One more! Come on! 
Everyone's going, we'll leave it at that. <laughs> Seven. Met up with Labumba, met up with Tom, filmed the podcast because as promised, the podcast is coming back. That will be releasing on Monday. You may or may not know, but I used to do a podcast before podcasts were cool and it was probably the most impactful thing that I've done. Like I still get messages about it to this day and it is coming back on Monday. Episode of Tom, episode of Labumba, some solo ones going down as well. Surgery update coming soon, full surgery video coming soon. I'm doing pretty good as you can tell. It's been a month since I had surgery. I haven't been training. I've been doing literally pretty much nothing but I'm able to walk around again now and start to regain some normality to my life but I won't find out until about six to twelve months whether it's actually worked or done anything or whether I need another one but from the bottom of my heart thank you so much and uh, also click the notification button turn it on if you don't already because I'll give away some stuff to say thank you but yeah peace out I love the bits Legend London if you want to support me, um, that's pretty cool because they sponsor me and pay me a salary. VQ if you want to support me, huge supplements if you want to get any subs, they're all great, efficacious, probably a bit too efficacious, dosed sometimes, especially the free workouts. All the links down below, peace out, love to bits, thank you, good night.